is Chelsea, welcome back to my channel, hi Storm Reese. Today's video is going to be the mid-year book freak out and I saw this on Little Book Owl's channel and I thought it sounded really really awesome. Um, this was created by Chami of Read Like Wildfire and Ellie Jane um, who are two other booktubers and they made it together. And basically what you have to do is you're just talking about all the books that you've read this year so far um, and there's like different questions that you have to answer with the ones that you have read this year so far. So um, I've got all the questions on my laptop so that's why I'm kind of like looking down at, or you know looking in every other direction um, because I also have to look at my Goodreads to remember what books I've read this year. So question number one is best book you've read so far in 2016. So the best book that I've read in 2016 so far is Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. Brandon Sanderson is my favourite author because of this series, The Stormlight Archive. Um, this is book two and it's probably going to be like seven years before the third book comes out and it's going to be a 10 book series so that's definitely a bit, a bit annoying um, but I read Way of Kings last year and I read it early last year and then I was like I'm going to wait until the end of the year to read um, the second book because I thought the third book was coming out this year um, it hasn't and it's not going to but I ended up reading this in right at the beginning of the year I think part one was the first book I read this year and it's my favourite book series of all time other than Harry Potter and I just love it. Question number two is best sequel you've read so far in 2016. I don't actually own the sequel to the book series that I'm talking about but I do own the one before it and I also read this this year so it's fine I guess. Um, and it's the Air Awakened series by Elise Kova and it's the fourth book Water's Wrath. I did read Earth's End this year but I did prefer Water's Wrath a bit more. Um, and then I guess I could also say Crystal Crown as well, the final book in the series was also the best sequel I read this year. Um, I've got those two coming in paperback in the mail sometime soon and if you have not checked out this series yet, you're missing out on so much. It's probably the best young adult fantasy series I've ever read. I just the feels are too much. Question number three is a new release you haven't read yet but want to. Um, I can't really think of one off the top of my head. I would, I'm pretty excited for um, this Savage Song by V.E. Schwab because I tried to read A Darker Shade of Magic and I didn't really like it so I'm hoping I'm going to really like this one because it sounds really really cool. Um, there's Summer Days and Summer Nights, the short stories. I don't own it yet but I need to get it. Um, I'm trying to think of other books as well, but I have so many books on my shelves. Oh, United is One by Pitticus Law, actually is probably my favourite most released, like, that just came out and I'm super excited to read, um, because it's the final book in the series and I'm so excited to see how the series is going to wrap up. Um, oh, and that's the I Am Number 4 series, by the way, so I'm super excited to get to reading that one. I have it on my shelf, I just need to sit myself down and do some reading. Question number four is most anticipated release of the second half of the year. Um, I have two or three, two or three or four, I think. Um, Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas, of course. I've already pre-ordered that one. Um, Never Night by Jay Kristoff. Pre-ordered that one too. Super, super excited. Three would be, um, A Shadow Burning Bright or Fire, A Shadow Burning Flat, something like that. The picture will be here because I cannot remember for the life of me what it's specifically called. Um, and then the fourth one would be Free Dark Crowns by Kendall Blake. Question number five is biggest disappointment of the year. And sadly, oh, it still hurts me to talk about this now. It's The Wrath from the Dawn by Renee F. Hay. I know everyone adores this book and I can understand why people like it. Like the atmosphere is like crazy beautiful and the writing style is really good as well. But the story to me, is just a big no. <laughs> I I can explain why a bit why, but I feel like I need to do like a full review video for this. Um, do comment down below and tell me if you'd like me to do a review for this one. Question number six is the biggest surprise, and I knew straight away that it would be this book. Um, I read it very recently, and oh my god, it's amazing! And that's Poison Study by Maria V. Schneider. I didn't expect to love this as much as I did. And I loved it a lot, so that's a-okay to me. Um, I just thought that it was really, really well written and built upon, and I felt like 
the author really had like fleshed out the story and knew where she wanted to go within the story and how she wanted to, to direct it and stuff and like it was just I didn't expect her to like as much as I did because I read um, her Sea Glass, Spyglass trilogy or at least the first two books in that and I didn't like it very much well, I liked it but it was like okay and then like you know I finally picked it up and I was like what? it's amazing so I'm really really excited to read the second and third book in the series I just haven't picked it up yet because I want to make it last. Question number seven is favourite new author and for this one I definitely had to pick um, Erin Watt who wrote Paper Princess. This is actually a pseudonym for, I think that's how you pronounce that word, oh my god I'm so dumb sometimes, um, but it's Elle Kennedy and Jen Frederick and I picked this one up on a whim, I read it on ebook and it was like the best new adult book I've ever read in my entire life. Holy crap I'm still reeling and actually thinking about it the sequels are coming out every three months and I think, I think that the sequel comes out tomorrow. <sighs> I need to prepare, I need to prepare, I'm so excited. Question number eight is newest fictional crush. Um, I had a hard time kind of thinking about one for this and I think I'm just gonna have to go with one, a person from a series which I did start reading last year but I did finish this year, the last three books. And I've already spoken about it. And it's Aldrich from the Air Awakened series by Elise Cover because my heart. Question number nine, that's kind of nine, nine, is your newest favourite character? This is a difficult one because I can't really like think of something off the spot. So I'm looking through all the books that I've read this year and I'm like, uh, no, no, X, X, no, X, no, X, no, X. I think for newest favourite character, I'm going to have to go towards the Air Awakened series again and I'm really sorry but I just can't think of anyone else and I've looked through all the books I've read this year and I can't think of anyone other than Valor from the Air Awakened series, the main character, or maybe um, Yelena from the Poison Study series just because I really liked her character backstory and stuff. Other than that, I can't really think of anyone off the top of my head. Ten is a book that made you cry and for this one I'm going to have to pick... Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Um, this one I can't find in my room, but I have read it and it is, I do own it. Obviously this made me cry because everyone knows why, it, you know, it's very sad, or at least if you, well, if you read it, you know, and I think a lot of people can get the idea as well. It was very sad and I did, I did, the tears came, you know. Number 11 is a book that made you happy. I feel like I just read a lot of really emotional and dull books. <laughs> Lots of young adult fantasy, um, all that type of stuff. And again, I'm like struggling to think of anything. I've just remembered a wonderful book that made me happy this year because I reread it for the first time ever. Question number 12 is most beautiful book that you've bought this year or received. And this one was so easy for me. It is this stunning edition of And I Darken by Kirsten White. Um, I hate it, or I hate, not even, not even past sense, I hate the UK paperback cover for this book. I think it's ugly, especially when compared to this stunning, like, so beautiful. Question number 13 is, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? Um, I had a little think. I'm not really, like, determined to read a certain book. I would like to finish my reread of the Harry Potter series. I've just got to read the last two books. I'm trying to look at my bookshelf of all my to be read books. I'm... I would like to have read... <laughs> My shelf's up there. The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. God, I haven't read that one yet, which sucks. Um, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I can't see. And The Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hook. Um, really, I'd like to have read all the books up on my bookshelf up there. Um, I still need, I really need to do a bookshelf tour, which will, shall be really fun when I do it. Um, it's just it's going to take me like seven hours to film, so I need to like make sure I'm really prepared to film that video. Um, and finally, question number 14 is favourite book community member? Um, hmm, I don't really know. I usually just would say Eva Perus Project, I love her videos. Um, Books and Lala, I think she's really really funny and I like her videos as well. Um, or Inkspoons Books, I always love their videos a lot. Um, 
and I hope to see more of them, hopefully. Yay! So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you've done this video as well, do link me down below or tell me that you've done it too and I will go and check it out. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much.